All right. Hey, hey, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the Matt Mettler podcast broadcast. This is episode number 19, and it is my great pleasure to be here with you for this episode. I would like to thank every single one of you for joining me. That's great that you could make it. I'm glad to have you. So I had a great and successful gig yesterday, kind of made up for the one that I had the other day that I talked about in the last episode, really kind of made things better for me. Honestly, it, uh, it was more like how I expected the kind of gigs that I want to do to go, right? So the band was totally excited about how it sounded. Uh, it was actually for a video shoot that's going to be used by a company that's, so it's part of a video that will be out there in the world. And um, the, the feedback that I received from the folks was that the guys in the video truck said that it sounded great. And um, that's what I want to go for, right? That's how I want it to be when I do a gig for you is that uh, I want it to sound amazing and I want it to be wonderful. So uh, it, it felt really great to go out and have a successful gig that wasn't a giant uh, uh, stress ball and that went really, really well. That felt great to get that belt under my belt and to feel accomplished about doing shows again, man, because... Um, that was uh, it was kind of a rough beginning to get back to doing shows, and this one made me feel a lot better about the whole thing. <sighs> it is hot. It is hella hot. I would run the air conditioner, except that you guys would hear the air conditioner running in the video, and it's kind of noisy. It makes a funky noise up in here. So I've been running the air conditioner, and now I'm just going to film this bad boy uh, until it gets too hot to film anymore. So I'm just going to plod through this bad boy while it's not too hot and, uh, try and knock this one out. I wanted to say, uh, it feels great to not be living in a cubicle anymore. Gotta be honest, people. Um, after getting back into the world and doing some shows and seeing what I was missing and realizing how much I really enjoy doing show business and how, Cubicle living and show business could not be more diametrically different than they are. I'm very glad to be back out in the world doing shows. It feels great. And it feels great to show up and be appreciated for what I bring to the table. Because one thing that there is not an overabundance of in the world is really good audio engineers. There's a lot of dudes that can plug in a microphone and turn it up, but there's not a lot of really exceptionally good audio engineers. So I feel almost like I'm feeling that love from the people that I'm working with regarding being talented as an audio engineer and how that that's not an everyday thing. Uh, not everybody is really talented at being an audio engineer because it's kind of complicated. Uh, it takes a little bit of learning and a little bit of time under your belt to be really good at it, right? So it felt really amazing to be a part of a show and be appreciated for that. And the show was at a really cool place. It was just really great. It was great to, to work with all kinds of new and different people. And that's one thing that I had forgotten about show business is that every single show in show business, you work with new and different people. You meet somebody new every gig. And um, it's really hard to remember people's names for that reason. Like people in show business, we oftentimes have a hard time remembering people's names because you meet so many people, you work with so many different people that um, it can be really difficult to remember names. So it feels really great to be back into the world. And instead of working for a boss who simply sees you as some kind of easily replaced cog in the corporate machine and the corporate clock, right? Uh, and forever chasing that carrot of money, which was never going to materialize. I realize now that I was smart to leave when I did. I was smart to put the pressure on them to step to the plate when I did because they weren't going to do it. And for me to stay there any longer than that would be just a waste of my time instead of being here talking to you guys. Because when I was working there, I wasn't allowed to have an opinion. I wasn't allowed to post on social media anything that could cause uh, any kind of trouble for the company, and it would have been heavily frowned upon every single thing that I've been talking about in this show since I started it. So I'm really glad that I'm not living the cubicle life anymore, and that I'm allowed to be a free person, and that I'm allowed to have an opinion, and that I'm allowed to say what that opinion is, and it feels pretty great. I got to be honest, man. It's pretty amazing to be on episode 19 already. I'm, uh, I'm just about to put up 18, and then I'm going to edit this one. So I've been editing 18 for the last couple of days, and then I'm going to put this one online. 
Um, and I feel really accomplished for getting 19 episodes done all by myself in 90 days. I feel like that is totally a huge accomplishment, considering that fewer than 8% of podcasts have released a new episode in the last 45 days. I feel hella accomplished that I've released 19 episodes in the last 90 days. That's almost like unheard of relative to what other people are doing, except for people that have entire production crews and people who do this for a living. You know, those people are knocking out like a podcast every single day. And I'll tell you what, man, if I had a production crew and I had all, if I could afford all of that, I'd be knocking out a show every single day for you guys. And it would be great. It'd be killer. <laughs> So I feel hella accomplished for getting that done and for being on episode 19 because technically I'm now 90 days into this project. Here I am on episode 19 and what's really cool is I have several hundred views. When I look at all the different videos that are out there, I got several hundred views at this point, probably four or 500 views. I don't know. I'd have to add it all up, but there's, it's, it's not bad. I mean, like it, it's doing okay, right? It's slowly growing and it feels pretty good. And I know that I, I wouldn't be one step down this path if I hadn't changed and if I hadn't forced myself to, to do something different, right? I feel like I've gone through an incredible amount of change and growth in the last year, since November. So last November, I started filming basically a video diary of myself just to try and cope with the stress that I was feeling at work. We did this, we did this course at work uh, called, you know, coping with stress. And one of the things that they said that you could do was do a diary, but I'm too, I'm too lazy to write everything down, right? Like I'm too stream of consciousness to write everything down. Plus that's too much writing anymore. And so I started doing a video blog to create a video diary of my days. And what's funny is that the last six months of my time at, at the place where I used to work is all recorded. I have a daily update of what took place practically during that entire period of time when I was leaving where I used to work. I basically expounded on all of the details of everything that happened for the last six months while I was working there. And someday that's going to make a great video series. Someday that's going to be awesome because it's going to be a retrospective, right? So, you know, stay tuned for that. I think that one of the things that I had forgotten is what I'm truly capable of when I put my mind to something and really truly focus on doing it. Because when I started this whole blog thing, I had to figure out the camera component of all of this. I had to figure out the audio component of all of this. It was kind of funny because when I watched videos on how to do a podcast, I felt <laughs> it was kind of dumb. Since I, since I had done a podcast in like 1996 and 97, I almost felt like I invented podcasting. So watching all these videos of how to do a podcast was kind of ridiculous, right? And so it took me a while to get all of this stuff figured out with the camera and the audio and everything. But now I feel kind of like I'm on a roll and like this thing is coming together and like this thing is actually a real thing in the world now. And that feels pretty good. That feels pretty amazing. Uh, that whole a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step thing. Here we are at episode 19. Chopping wood. Got a pile of wood right there, man. It's, it's pretty amazing. Feels pretty incredible, right? And one of the things that I realized about leaving my old job and starting this new adventure is that life is like a book. You know, one chapter ends... And then there's a blank space for a period of time, right? And that, that blank space indicates metamorphosis, change. And then you turn the page and a new chapter begins. And I'm in that new chapter. I'm writing, I'm writing a whole new part to this book, right? And it looks nothing like the old part of this book. And that feels pretty amazing, right? One door closes and others open. And I'm thankful to the universe for that. I really am. One of the coolest parts is that, you know, I have no idea what the future holds. But I know that it wasn't going to happen staying in that cubicle. 
I know that it wasn't going to happen. Whatever, whatever magic is going to happen in my life, it wasn't going to happen by being quiet. It wasn't going to happen by shutting up and sitting there and being a good little boy. It only can come through forcing myself to become something more, better, and different than what I was. Getting out of the corporate mindset, which is to be a follower of rules. You know, one of the things that sucks about rules is that never once has greatness been achieved by following rules. You have to break rules. You have to be willing to bend rules. You have to be willing to reject rules to really achieve anything great in the world. If all you do is follow rules, all you'll do is end up being, you'll end up with a mediocre result just like everything else in the world, right? So you got to break rules to really do anything of real meaning or importance. The other thing is that I had to take the leap. I had to leap out into the abyss of doing this to answer a question to myself of who the fuck is Matt Mettler? Who do I think I am? And it's a question that I ask myself all the time, people. And it has been incredibly enlightening to explore all of that through this journey that is the podcast. It's been pretty incredible. Oh, man. Is it really interesting? Because when I started doing this thing, I had to, I had to really brush off my audio editing skills, right? I, I, I knew how to do digital audio editing since 1996, but it had been a long time since I had done any real significant digital audio editing. And, and it really kind of had to, I had to sharpen that chisel again and learn how to do that again. And then on top of that, I had to learn all, of, all about video editing because um, one, I'm trying to do this on a budget, so I can't afford all kinds of crazy software or expensive devices to make this happen. I have to figure out all of these things on a budget and within, a, within a, the confines that I can afford, which is as close to zero dollars as possible when it comes to producing this thing. So it has been, you know, I've had to learn all about editing software. I had to teach myself video editing and I think it's going pretty good. <laughs> I think that I'm growing. I think that you guys can see in each episode a little bit of growth, a little bit. Each episode gets a little bit better. Each episode gets a little more, gets a little bit closer to where I want it to be. So I'm really interested to see what this looks like, looks like today because as you can tell, I've made some changes to the background and a little bit of changes to the lighting and things like that. And I'm really kind of curious to see how it looks today when I go and review this to edit it down later. I had a crazy dream last night about uh, meeting Taylor Swift. It was, it was really kind of funny, man. I had a funny dream where I met Taylor Swift. It was in the context of a show. Uh, it was one of these weird little moments of downtime in the show somewhere. I don't, I don't know exactly what I, of course it was a dream, right? So it was a little amorphous, but I was thinking maybe that's going to happen in the future because I tend to have weird dreams. And then those weird dreams seem to actually materialize later on. So uh, maybe Taylor Swift is maybe I'm going to meet Taylor Swift sometime in the future. I thought that, you know, that wouldn't suck. Me and her don't have the same political views. But uh, I'd love to talk to her. <laughs> I'd love to get her take and opinion on things, see where she really stands. Um, that might be an interesting, interesting conversation. For sure. So Taylor, you know, if you're out there, you want to be on the Matt Mettler podcast. Uh, I, I'm not going to lie. I would be shamelessly abusing your status as an amazing superstar to make this show into almost something from almost nothing. But hey, you know, if you want to do that, call my, call my people, Taylor. 720-244-5624. Um, <laughs> call me. Uh, so yeah, so it has been an incredible journey in taking this leap of faith into the abyss and doing this podcast. And I'm so thankful that I started doing it, man. It's been incredible. It's been an incredible lear learning experience. It's been an incredible growth experience for me. Um, and it really kind of has caused me to stop and think about the things that are more important in life and the things that that have real meaning and real value versus things that don't 
we pursue a lot of things in the world that don't have much real meaning or value. And when you get back to pursuing things that, that truly inspire you, it feels pretty amazing. It really does feel pretty amazing. I realized when I was telling the story in, in episode 18 of the gal that we helped out, I realized that I included some details that, that were assumptions. Like one, I assumed that she was homeless. Uh, as I think about that deeper, I'm not thinking, maybe she's not homeless. Maybe she was just in a situation where she had been taken to the hospital or something like that and was now without ride back to where she had to go. So it was unfair for me to say that that lady was homeless calls for speculation on the part of the witness. <laughs> but what I do want to say is that she was elderly. She was using a rolling walker and she was older than 60 years old. So I, that actually puts maybe a little more context around how difficult it was trying to help that lady and how it was really a challenge trying to help that gal out. So I realized that I hadn't really talked about that aspect of helping that lady. And as a detail, it was kind of important that she was elderly and that she was using a walker. But she still managed to be slightly inebriated. So there's still that. You know, to be honest, I didn't have a tremendous amount of show notes for today's show. I just wanted to record the fact that I had a really great, successful show, and that made me feel a lot better about things, and that that I really wanted to just say thank you to all the people that have been supporting the show. It really means a lot to me. You guys don't even know, man. The Matt Mettler podcast is becoming a thing. Slowly, slowly but surely, it is becoming a thing in the universe. And it is only through your help. It is only through your views and through you. Because like I've said before, without viewers watching this video out there in the world, this is just me talking to a microphone, filming it with a camera. But when you watch it, a magical thing happens called the show. And it relies on you as much as it relies on me, right? There used to be this guy that had a band, and um, <laughs> the band's name was Flacco Flacco. And he would say, I'm Flacco Flacco, and you are too. <laughs> and uh, in a way, it's like, I'm Matt Mettler, and you are too. By coming along with me for this experience, you are too, right? And uh, that's special. And it shouldn't be underestimated, and I thank you for that. I really do. So, you know, if you're new to the Matt Mettler podcast, please like, subscribe, share. Feel free to talk about it. Please feel free to leave comments, or you can email me. Um, if you go to mattmettler.com, you can get a hold of me there. Like I said, <laughs> you can use the number that I gave Taylor Swift. You can call me or text me or whatever. And, and you know, if you want to... If you want to disagree with me or you want to agree with me or whatever, do do that. You know, if you want to contact me and say that uh, you don't like what I'm talking about, well, tell me why. You know, if you don't uh, or if, if you like what I'm talking about, tell me why. Um, I appreciate that. You know, it's sort of funny is that I a lot of people out there are watching, but not many people will like. Not many people. And it's sort of interesting because I understand where you're coming from. You feel like a like is an endorsement of everything that I say. But I feel like you could, you could give it a like if you just like the fact that I'm standing up for freedom. If you just like the fact that I'm speaking my mind, you could give it a like. You don't have to agree with everything I say. Uh, giving this video a like is not a tacit endorsement of everything that I espouse. It's merely saying that, you know, keep doing, keep doing what you're doing and keep up the work. And that means so much more than you guys know, man. So if you could, if, it, if, if you wouldn't mind giving it a thumbs up, uh, giving it a like, that really helps, you know, and comments and stuff are great too. So, so to all of my listeners, to all of my viewers out there, thank you so much for joining me here for the 19th episode of the Matt Mettler podcast. I very much appreciate that. And uh, I hope to see you on episode 20 of the Matt Mettler podcast. The Matt Mettler podcast is a Matt Mettler production, copyright 2019.